This is a note on notation. So don't change the station. This is for your dictation. So grab a pencil, write them down. Do not frown. What are we going to do? This is the interaction of polynomials. We're going to add them, subtract them, multiply them, divide them. And this is how we write them. So I got my F say, and I got my J say, and what are we gonna do say? Add them. We're gonna add the two, and that's what my note on notation's about. This is just notation for what? For F of X plus G of X. Oh boy. So what are you gonna do? You're going to replace those two with those guys. That'd be wise to write everywhere I see the F. I'm going to put an X squared plus 2. And then what do I do? I'm going to go and I'm going to add it to G of X, which happens to be 3X minus 1. Fun. And then I'm going to gather, collect, and combine. Gather, collect, and combine. I want to combine like terms. Like terms are terms with exactly the same variables raised to exactly the same powers. <clears throat> oh, yeah, baby. So I only have one x squared, so I'm going to leave them. x squared plus a 3x and 2 minus 1 is 1. Yeah! Fox and flower. I wonder what's going to happen when we subtract them. Same trick, same ponies. This time, subtract them. Oh, that's my notation for subtraction. And this says take F and subtract G off it. So let's go. Da da do do. Blah. Everywhere we see the F of X, I'm now going to put X squared plus 2. Why? Because that was my F. And then, in parentheses, I'm going to put G's. And that's a 3x minus 1. Fun. Because I'm subtracting that polynomial from that polynomial. So, I need to take the opposite of everything in here. Finish him. Yeah, finish him. So then, that's an x squared plus 2. And it goes and it goes and it goes. And it actually makes that sound so that you don't forget to take it to both terms in that binomial. So that's a minus 3x and a plus 1. That's fun. Gather, collect, and combine. Gather, collect, and combine. And we're going to find we have x squared minus 3x. What's next? 1 and 2. That'd be 3t. T. Fox and flower. This is my note on notation. And what are we going to do? Add them, subtract them, multiply them, and divide them. And this is how we write them. This is how we write the multiplication. This says f times g of x. What does it mean? It means f of x times g of x. What comes next? A little substitution. So what are you going to do? Everywhere you see an f, you're going to put an x squared plus 2. Oh, oh, G. I see G, so I put 3x minus 1. Fun. And now what? First in or out or last them? Foiled. Ha ha! Foiled again. So we go first. Bam! That's a 3x to the third. Then we outer. Bam! That's a minus x squared. And then we inner. Bam! Plus 6x. What comes next? Last minus two. And then you would gather, collect, and combine. But we find we don't have any like terms. Those are terms with exactly the same variables raised to exactly the same powers. So only one thing left to do. A box. And a flower. Division. Same polynomials. Here's how we rolls. F divided by G of X literally means F divided by G of X. So, what comes next? We're going to take the quotient of those two 
And we do. I'm going to put f on top of g because it's on top. So this is an x squared plus 2. And that's divided by that g of x, which was a 3x minus 1. Fun. But wait, there's more. This one comes with a disclaimer. A what? You can never divide by zero. You can never divide by zero. You can never divide by zero. So we go and we have to list where that denominator is equal to zero. So you go, oh, denominator, where are you equal to zero? And then that's a 3x is equal to a 1. And then x is 1 third. And I heard that it's not 1 third because that's what would make that denominator zero. So we have to go and we say that x cannot equal 1 third. Box and flower.